Hey guys, what's going on? Shapeshifters 2 has come out and we are going to be doing a lot of reviews today. So we're going to be starting off with the SPC, obviously, because I know that people want these ones, obviously, the most. And then we will transition into the gameplay ones and then the other ones afterwards if I can get my hands on them. So with Zakaria's card, guys, we have his loan version of this card. If you guys remember, during the year... Uh, in the beginning of the year, he was one of the cheap options that was an absolute monster to use in the midfield area. I loved using this guy as my CDM. I believe at the time, he had medium-medium work rates instead of low-high work rates. So, big difference there in regards to the work rate adjustment that they've given the card. Low-high is pretty solid, right? Uh, he's six foot three with a 3-star, three 3-star. Three but guys... This guy is massive in game, okay? So we could have someone like a Konate 2.0 or something just because of that physical presence that this card is going to have, right? Like it's a big reason why uh, his rare gold card in the midfield was so fantastic with medium, medium work rates is because he pretty much bullied people off the ball, right? So with this card, obviously you're going to give it a shadow card. 81 acceleration, 92 sprint speed. So plus 15 for acceleration is going to be a massive thing for the shadow card. With a plus 10 for sprint speed, it's going to give him a plus 7. So obviously very good. Giving him the defensive stat increase as well as the physical stats that are already there that you don't need to increase. With the body type that he has in the game, I think this card is going to be freaking crazy as a center back, personally. I, I, that's that's what I'm looking at. 72 finishing, 77 short, a shot power for a center back. Not too bad. He's definitely getting his midfield capabilities put onto his center back card. He has decent passing stats as well, right? It's always nice to have passing depending on the angle that you're in, right? Like sometimes you don't want to have to take that extra touch to be able to pass the ball in a certain way, right? 73 agility, 70 balance, and decent dribbling stats with decent composure in the center back area is also pretty nice. But when you give this card the shadow chemistry style, that's where you're really going to notice a huge difference with him. Now, obviously, we're not going to give a shadow to... Um, to this card, but it's going to be very noticeable that he's going to need it for sure, right? So um, this is the team that we're going to be using, the typical Bundesliga team that we normally use. Uh, because he's a three-star, three-star oriented center back, we're going to go ahead and play him in the right center back position. Oh, actually, because this is a review for the, for the center back, we have to go ahead and put the depth high here, and then we're going to put Zakaria as the center center back with the instructions of join the attack for both the center backs, except for except for Zakaria. We'll, we'll pull these guys to get 4-2, make sure the attack is pretty crazy, and then we'll basically go from there. So, let's see how this card plays in game. I'm actually really looking forward to trying it out, because like I said, um, it, it like his midfield card was incredible. So, this little link up right here between him and Konate could be absolutely deadly, okay? So, uh, yeah, let's go try him out and see what happens. All right, let's go ahead and just give him the ball here, and let's just test out his uh, his defending. We'll put team press as well to keep uh, to make a more of an opening as well. All right, so general off the ball movement right there, starting off really nicely. I do I do like the the transitioning there, so nothing too bad there. All right, so you want to see his off the ball movement here. We don't want to control anybody. Okay. So, again, he sticks to his position really well. Uh, he's not going to aggressively push a certain sides if he doesn't necessarily need to. So that's pretty solid so far. Again, off the ball movement. Okay, so he's marking, goes back into position instantly. So that's good. That's a good characteristic to have as well. Marking in general here is pretty decent. He marks that guy, goes into the other dude without me controlling him. So that's actually pretty solid. So... It's good when your center backs already start making that transitioning run into the attacker. So that way, when you switch to him, all you have to do is make that, that tackle. So it's a good thing that he actually does that. See what his dribbling is like on the ball. You guys see how big he is in game? Like I, want, I just want to stand right next to Konate to show you guys exactly what I'm talking about. You see how huge they are, bro? It's going to be so massive with these two. All right, so we want to see his marking again here. So he goes to the person and then goes back. Occupies the middle space well. I don't even have to use my other hand here. And then Konate just gets the ball. But yeah, off the ball movement, he moves pretty nicely uh, with Konate. It doesn't seem... I feel like the low high work rate is what's making him mark the player. But then go right back into position. So that's pretty solid. Okay, so we want to see it here again. 
Yeah, his marking off the ball is actually really solid. I actually like it a lot. He's blocking the middle, he's blocking the guy. Transitioning to the side, still blocks the middle, blocks the guy and blocks the middle really nicely. I like that because he doesn't overcommit to the attacker to block him. He still needs to occupy, what the heck is this? He still needs to occupy his general space and you know, that's pretty nice to have. I really do think that this card is basically gonna be Konate 2.0 because that physical body type that he has, bro, like look at Konate, right? And then I give it off to Zakaria and it's, still, it's literally like the same, it's the same dude. Like that body type is gonna be massive, bro. It's a problem with people like uh, with people like Aspili Quetta, you know, like because he doesn't have that body type, he's more of like the agile type of center back, and that's just like not a, an ideal situation to have in general, right? You want to have players that are gonna have that physical stock, you know, players like Gabrielson or Van Dyke. Um, PK ha PK has a stock. He doesn't have the pace for it though. Like if you give this card a shadow card, I'm telling you guys, man, he could be a sick center back. You guys know that I really regretted not doing uh, his transitioning. is really sick too, man. I actually like it a lot. This is without a shadow card, guys. Look at that. Instant stop right there. Stops in position really nicely. Doesn't even have the acceleration boost with the shadow. I'm telling you guys, this card is going to be insane. I regretted not doing Konate's card because Konate is... He's so hard to pass, bro. It's like it's like me regretting not doing Mbabu. Mbabu is a similar situation because I didn't do gameplay objectives during that time. And... It was super ideal to do such a thing, to be honest, right? So... <laughs> Alright, so now I want to actually control him here. Just to see what his transition is like. Dude, he, he feels literally like his midfield card. Like his midfield card transitioning left and right wise. Imagine, imagine this, right? Imagine you put a person who is solid at defending in the midfield, like someone like Lauren Blanc, right? And you're just like, you know what? I'm gonna put this card in the center back position. You're looking at a card that can dribble with the ball and progress forward if he really needs to, you know? Like it's it's just a solid, it's just a solid thing to have. All right, so this is without the shadow chemistry style. Let's see what he does here. Dude, I'm telling you guys, man, this guy with a shadow, he's gonna like, Oh, imagine having Konate and this dude in the freaking center back position. Oh my god. Okay, cool. So they, they have a rotation policy between each other as well. So that's good off the ball movement in general, right? Like if, if he realizes that the person is no longer in uh, the general position, he'll go and occupy that position instantly, right? You can see that Konate is still in the center back position. And now Zakari is the one that's playing in the left center back position. So, or the right center back position. So that's pretty solid. Let's see what his physical presence is like here. Okay, so I didn't shield the ball that well right there, but good defending there regardless. And, uh... Uh, okay. Uh, yeah, oh, alright. That works too. Uh, <laughs> okay. Nice little go there with Timo Werner. This Bundesliga team is freaking crazy, man. All right, guys, so final verdict on the card, guys. I need you guys to see how similar these two guys are to each other. Okay, so you see how the pace is at 81 and 92. Konate is 77 and 91, but when you guys give him the shadow chemistry style boost, 92 acceleration, 99 sprint speed with 77 agility, great defensive stat increases, right? Very similar situation to Zakaria, right? You give him a shadow, look at the boost you're giving this card. The thing about these two, if you did Konate and you can get these two together, honestly, you're looking at absolute monsters in the center back position, okay? Because their body type being so big, right? Because Zakaria is six foot three and Konate is six foot four, okay? These are the, this is the comparison I'm gonna make these, between these two. They play so well together. The low high work rates, Works so well with Zakaria because I hate when center backs mark players the entire time, but they don't necessarily mark their general area most of the time. So you could tell that with those low high work rates, Zakaria pushes to the guy to mark him, but then he gets right back into position to occupy his space. And that's brilliant because even with Konate's card, right? Konate is at high, high work rates, right? So he can be aggressive at, at times, but because of the high work rates to come back, the way that him and Zakaria move off each other is really, really nice, right? The SBC costs 193k for the center back. Now, the thing about the Bundesliga is that they do have a lot of tradable center backs as well, right? 
which is something that you have to obviously take into consideration. I do, however, really think that this card would definitely be worth doing for 193k. I genuinely believe that because Konate for me, was a steal at 130k. I think it's a steal for the quality that he offers in-game. And Red Bull Leipzig has the potential to beat Tottenham and go into the next round to upgrade this card even more. You know what I'm saying? So, I don't know, man. This Zakaria card, I think he's sick. I don't... The Swiss, the Swiss link-ups, I don't think really matters. I don't really know anybody that's Swiss that, like, is like, oh, wow. But if you're making a Bundesliga team, this guy is really sick, guys. That body type... And height together as well as good pace. Because, dude, look at the shadow. 96 acceleration and 99 sprint speed. With defensive stats like that and physicality that's already there, the jumping doesn't matter. He's six foot three with big stock. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, I think the card's worth doing personally. But it's entirely up to you guys. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video today for the SBC. I will catch you guys for the other reviews later today. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.